Manchester United back in Premier League action this weekend. Crystal Palace, the visiting team to Old Trafford. The team who's rock bottom of the Premier League against Manchester United, who are just behind Manchester City on goal difference. Let's get in to the big match preview. Going into the game, Manchester United in fantastic form. A 4-1 win over CSK in Moscow, followed on from the gritty win we got away at Southampton. Then you got the Burton game in between that and the Everton game before that. Three out of our last four games, Man United have scored four goals in. We really are hitting this season hard at the very, very start. Better than I think people would have expected, definitely better than I expected Manchester United to start this season. Better than I expected Lukaku to start. Better than I expected Martial to start. The whole team is gelling very, very well. Nemanja Matic settling in in midfield and we are dominating teams and we are putting teams to the sword. And what better team to play than the only team in the top five divisions who haven't scored a goal this season? Christian Benteke, he's now injured. He's going to be out of the game. Roy Hodgson's just come in as a new manager. Crystal Palace are a team up against the ropes right now. They may have beaten Bromley in a 2-1 win behind closed doors friendly during the week, but Crystal Palace, they are reeling at the moment and United are flying. Team news going into the game. There are definitely a few injury concerns for Manchester United. We've got Paul Pogba, he's obviously injured, and Zlatan Ibrahimovic, he's not available either. But other players, Michael Carrick's been ruled out of the game by Jose Mourinho. Phil Jones is a major doubt. Marouane Fellaini is a major doubt. Antonio Valencia was left behind from the team that went to Moscow. Henry Mkhitaryan came off the pitch against CSK in Moscow. And Martial limped off the pitch as well. There's quite a lot of injury concerns. But Man United's squad depth in most areas is very good this season. Central midfield is certainly going to get stretched if we've got Pogba, Fellaini and Carrick out. But I think that Herrera and Matic can definitely do a job together. If Andreas Pereira was still here, we'd definitely be talking about him too. But Antonio Valencia, if he's out, we've got Darmi or Young that can fill in in that role. Maybe Luke Shaw will be in for his first start of the Premier League season at left-back if Mourinho wants him to. So we do have plenty of injury concerns. As I said, Christian Benteke being out for Crystal Palace. The fact that they are actually looking at Carlton Cole as their potential solution to this Benteke situation really tells you just how bad the situation is at Crystal Palace at the moment. They got rid of De Boer really early on. What was it, four games in, he was sacked. Unreal from Crystal Palace. And they deserve to get relegated just for that. And then they go and get Hodgson. So now they deserve to get double relegated, if that's even a possibility, which it isn't, but it should be for Palace. Palace are just, they're a turmoil club at the moment. Absolutely turmoil. And I can't see anything but a comfortable United win. But I did predict that United would beat Stoke away as well. We drew 2-2 there, so I'm not going to be too overconfident. But it's hard not to be confident with how Man United are playing and how Crystal Palace are playing. It's basically the perfect time for United to play Palace. Now, as you know, Ladbrokes are back in United People's TV for the season. And there's one bet that I give you every single week where you can bet £5, you get £20 in free bets. This one, I'm back in Lukaku for that hat-trick. He so nearly got his first hat-trick against CSKA. He got two, but Akin five, made some brilliant saves. But against Crystal Palace in the form they're in and the form Lukaku is in, I'm definitely back in Lukaku to get a hat-trick there. So make sure you follow the link in the description. Use the code UTDPeoples. That is the unique code for just you guys and girls. Head over there, get your free bets and win some money on Lukaku getting a hat-trick. But what's my prediction for the game? As I said, I genuinely cannot see anything but a confident Manchester United, comfortable victory. Last week, Crystal Palace got pumped by Manchester City 5-0. And that is why City are top of the league on goal difference. I'm going to predict the exact same result. 5-0 for Manchester United. I really can't see Palace threatening us at all. They're a limp side, even with Benteke in. Take Benteke out. They're even worse. It, it, uh, maybe I'm being too hard. If you're a Crystal Palace fan, maybe call me arrogant. Explain to me in the comments why I am being too harsh, if you think I am. But I feel it's a perfect time to play Palace at Old Trafford. Man United, four past uh, Everton at Old Trafford, four past West Ham. Four past Burton at Old Trafford. We are firing this season. Lukaku's firing on all cylinders. Martial, he's got 10 goals or assists so far this season. Last season, he got 16 in total. This season, he's got 10 before the end of September. Lukaku's hit 10 already. Rashford's scoring. Mkhitaryan's getting plenty of assists left, right and centre. Juan Mata is just a magician whenever he plays. United are just, there's not many weaknesses or any problems with his squad right now. That's why I'm so confident. I'm going 5-0 
Manchester United. But what's your prediction? As always, let me know in the comments. Drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV. Make sure you follow that link in the description. Get your free bet with Ladbrokes. Thank you, Ladbrokes. And hopefully Man United can come through, get a confident win. 5-0 and a Lukaku hat-trick. I'll take that any day of the week.